in my entire collection. My number one fragrance. I don't like this. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Not gonna lie, I didn't prepare this video, so we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna try to go through them very quickly. I have 18 to 20 perfumes I'll be discussing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Some loves in here i have some likes and i have some highly dislikes so it's gonna be an interesting one all right so we're kicking it off with a youtube made me buy and this is victoria's secret wicked and i got this one because of simply shaughnessy my bottle looks a little bit rusty musty i forgot honestly what she said i think she just mentioned sugar and this to me the second that i smelled it it smelled like um vani apricot from csp from Sud Pacifique. Yeah, there's no fruit in this. There's freesia, brown sugar, and vanilla. But I get that fruitiness. Oh, it's really good. But I want to say that the vanilla in here is that uh, artificial candy vanilla. And this one, I have worn it twice to go to sleep. And I still wake up with the scent. I was thinking that it was a brown sugar. But there was something in it that was bothering me. I was like, no, I've smelled brown sugar before. Kayali Vanilla 28. That smells like a warm brown sugar like it's getting cooked in in a skillet this one i feel like even though it has brown sugar this reminds me more of a white uh sugar yes and i do prefer this one over the vanille apricot like i said it has better performance and it's a little bit more intensified i want to say yes it's like a candied sugared vanilla all right um about i don't know when this video is going to go up probably after my wish list but i talked about this soup. <laughs> i talked about this one on my wish list video and an update of recent purchases and this is a banana republic dark cherry and amber and this is one that i was super hyped up when i got i got it for the cherry obviously but it didn't smell like cherry to me it smelled like uh 540 x straight at initial first impression but then i later found out like after you know my excitement or whatever that it smelled like the in the stars lotion that i have but i ended up not liking this one i'm not gonna go too in depth with it because i already talked about it in my last video so i'll be linking that video down below yeah i wasn't impressed and i said that if you're looking for that cherry you might not find it in this so uh not a bad scent just I didn't care for it let's to say the least all right so this is another one that i talked about in my july favorites and this one is a favorite of mine like i love 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 this kkw crystal gardenia i do not have any of the other uh kim kardashian fragrances um i saw a couple of questions about that and some people have dm me about it as a matter of fact i was never interested in them i felt like they were gonna suck to be quite honest with you guys um a co-worker of mine actually told me to get this one she was like i feel like you would like it and i was like no i was like they're gonna suck and here I am today, and this is one of my top favorites now. This smells so good. It's it's like it's 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 like floral and fruity and sweet, and it's so good. Performance is absolutely amazing. This is one of those that does definitely leave a trail. It lingers on. The quality of this is so good for the price, and it smells so good. Like. It's like sugared flower petals and then like this juicy sweetness from the pear. It's really good. I put my fragrances like uh, next to my jewelry, the fragrances that I'm going to wear for the month. And I have a couple that I rotate. That's how I get the most use out of my fragrances. Like it hasn't been that long since I bought this one and it has a dent already. It's crazy. And I actually do like the bottle. I mean, I hate that it doesn't stand of course but i do like it even if it's like you know but i like it i think it's really pretty and it's very minimalist i think if you're like scared of florals and you're more like um you like sweeter florals i think you would enjoy this so i really do like it and i enjoy it all right this is gonna be a long video i'm telling you all right this is her from Zadik and Voltaire. I really expected something different from this one and it was not what I was expecting. This to me is not milky, it's not creamy. I would say that it's smooth. It's a smooth sandalwood. It has this clean 
aspect to it and it doesn't smell soapy it's, it's not soapy it just has that clean aura about it it's a very airy scent too and it's more of that sweet airy scent i do find it very unisex i would say that it even leans masculine rather than feminine and for some reason i find myself craving it and i'm learning to enjoy it more but i will tell you that it's not that sweet heavy gourmand that i was expecting because it's not it's definitely a woody scent and i like sandalwood but if you don't i don't know if you would enjoy this with that being said i know that um takara i know sandalwood is in one of like her favorite favorite notes and she really likes this i'll link her video down below because she talks about it so i think that it's a fragrance that it's not a safe blind buy but after you watch their videos and my videos and you still want to try it go for it girl definitely a scent that many people perceive differently like it's you know what i mean but that's what i get if you want like that heavy uh whipped cream vanilla hazelnut scent that's not what i got and i do love the bottle i know some people don't but i absolutely love the bottle it's so edgy i love it i love it i said i was going to talk through it pretty quick and here i am just like taking my damn sweet time i've only gone through like three perfumes and i'm already at 14 minutes ridiculous fragranza signorina miel and i've always always wanted uh the miss dior sherry it was actually one of you guys that told me about it i'm actually currently talking to you now um ritza so thank you for putting me on i had seen it but she told me that um her uber driver noticed the scent and complimented on her and he seemed like one of those like grumpy old men that usually don't notice i guess scents or compliments people and i really really do like it uh it leaked as you can see a little i do have um a video coming up where i review the house and the fragrances victor and ralph magic dancing roses i absolutely love love the bottle let me clean it first before i show it to you guys how rude of me i don't know if you guys can see it but it's like little bubbles in there like i love it like i literally want to keep it just for the bottle with that being said i'm indecisive if i want to keep it i think i'm going to sell it i'm still trying it out um i don't want to regret it and it's not a bad fragrance it is a pretty girl scent it's just a pretty girl scent but there's nothing in it that I want to say moves me excites me and makes me feel any type of way to be honest with you guys i'm glad that i got it at a um, sale price i would have been real salty if i got it at the retail value but i got it when i posted my community post when i know that a lot of you guys got it and i got it as well obviously <laughs> during that time problem that i'm having right now is that performance on me is not that great i expected this one to be like on steroids and monstrous and it's not i have a lot to say about it i'm still trying it because i really really don't want to get rid of it so i'm documenting um the longevity on of it the projection of it and i got stella by stella mccartney i never thought that i would be like a rose <laughs> type of person but i've been having a rose kick so here we are it's not particularly one note but you smell this and you smell roses how can i describe this i love this i think this like fix the rose kick that i was having there's nothing juicy about it there's oh, i smell it <laughs> there's nothing fruity about it there's no other like florals i feel competing with it is just a rose yeah i love it i wore this to church the other day and i kept smelling myself like it was so freaking good it's very simple but i love the simplicity of it i find it so feminine and i really really like it if you're looking for the ultimate true rose stella by stella mccartney it smells like a literal flower including i feel the stem and the actual petals this here actually reminds me of like a bouquet of red roses and i didn't know that roses had a scent till i smelled this and i was like wow roses actually do smell like that oh. <laughs> this one is interesting okay i don't think this one's for everyone but i really like it and this is um chopard from cashmere i love this bottle it's so like vintagey looking it feels like my grandma gave it to me i love it didn't think i was gonna like it i was actually a little scared i believe this has benzoin in it and as i've described in the past benzoin is not one of my favorite um notes 
um, it comes off as very vintagey, and in this it does. This scent itself is pretty vintagey. It smells to me like a creamy peachy pie, literally. Like I had heard um, Mila talk about this last year, and she was like, "Yeah, it smells like a, a vintage apricot pie or something like that." And I was like, "Yeah, okay, it does. It actually does." Um, but it has this dusty quality to it, and I know that's the worst way to describe something it smells dusty alone i'm sure that a lot of you guys are like yeah i'm not getting it it smells dusty but if you're like me the certain adjectives you guys like a challenge it intrigues you more something about it just intrigued me more so i find this to be dusty it smells like it has been sitting in a dusty old box for many years and it still smells good i would imagine that like um a very sweet um, older woman in a library would smell like there's this dusty vintagey vibe about it like old books um, an old library like I said um, but it's sweet it's very comforting it's warm I don't think it's a scent that I would wear all the time I don't think that it's a scent that like oh my god like it's like my top 10 per se but it's very unique i've never smelled anything like this and i do enjoy the scent i like it to go to sleep or to be like around the house it brings um comfort it's i can imagine like my grandma wearing this or something it's so unique you guys i love it it makes me happy <laughs> starts off like a little bit syrupy a little boozy it develops to this more creaminess um, but i don't think it's safe blind buy especially if you're starting your fragrance journey you might find that one a little too odd so yeah all right Ooh, let's talk about one that i don't like i know some of you guys love when i express myself about things that i don't like so let's talk about that this is womanity from is this moogler or terry moogler I think it's Moogler. I forgot. I'll add it here on screen which one it is because I forgot. I don't like this. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I, I just don't like it. Um, I thought I was going to like it actually because there is not one scent that I've tried from Terry Moogler or Moogler that I haven't liked. That is actually one of my favorite top houses from the designer world. I can't get with this. I don't see the point of putting myself through that torture. And I can't say that I hate it, but I definitely highly dislike it. I don't see why I would wear it. It is salty. I do perceive it as salty. But okay, what can I spray it on? Because I don't want to spray it on myself. Spray it in the air because I don't feel like spraying it on anything. Oh, bitch. It just like shoot it down. It smells like beach water. It doesn't smell like I like like I'm not walking around smelling like a salmon or a tilapia, but it does have that marine aquaticness to it. It doesn't smell like just regular salt water. It does have that sea life about it. And I'm very familiar with the beach because I literally live right next to the beach. So I don't perceive myself walking around like a whole fish, but there is a fishy quality to it i don't think if i wore this someone next to me would be like oh she smells like fish or fishy but they would think that i smell a little weird peculiar per se but it is a scent that i don't feel comfortable wearing i did wear it for a day and i tested it out the first day that it came but i gave it a full wear for a day and i didn't like it I actually felt quite uncomfortable wearing and i've never had a fragrance where i feel uncomfortable wearing and i don't want to be around people because i would feel like they think that i stink and this is what this one gave me it felt i felt like i was keeping my distance a bit you know because like i didn't want people to like hmm, like give me a little side eye the thing is with this one it has like that beachy um sea life salty quality to it um and it's also sweet so i feel like that makes it like you know i don't want to smell like it i do have one fragrance that i love it's versace crystal noir and versace crystal noir gives me that beach salty quality at night and i like it the gardenia and that one balances out the salt gives it this very enticing smexy second look alluring kind of vibe to it i don't find this enticing i don't find it alluring I, my camera cut off but it was probably for a reason because i started to get a little too rancy <laughs> i don't like it and i will most definitely not keep it so moving on to one that i like <laughs> babe power from misguided nav um coco and takara that made me buy it because i was having that cherry kick oh, i love this one if you have a cherry kick 
I recommend this. I recommend this all the way. It's not the most long lasting, I gotta tell you. And it's not the one that I feel projects heavy, but this is so easy. It's a comforting scent, one that I would wear like around the house, also to go to sleep, or just like an easy grab. And I don't mind over spraying this one. I don't mind reapplying it again, just because the scent alone, I love. It's like a cherry, candy but it also has this light powderiness to it but the powder in here it smells like like those pixie sticks candy but like the cherry flavored one that's what this reminds me of i know you can't smell me through the screen but i smell amazing right now <laughs> it's a very playful cheerful scent i love it i love it not for everyone but if you're like into that stuff i think you will like it all right uh next Let's talk about a Michael Kors one. Do we want to talk about Michael Kors? Yeah, we're going to talk about Michael. <laughs> Twilight Shimmer. This one has praline, um, oud, woodsy notes, plum, I believe. This one is a deep scent. Also really unique. I have not smelled anything like this. It's deep. It's sweet. It has like this woody element to it for sure. I find this one rich. And I can't wait, wait to wear this like during the fall, winter-ish time when it's colder. But I do like it. It has this very rich, plummy quality about it. <sighs> yes. So that is the Twilight Shimmer from Michael Kors. I think this one is my favorite vanilla. And I'm not talking about like floral vanillas, <laughs> brown sugar-ish vanillas in my whole collection. Unfortunately, I only have a one ounce, so sucks michael kors midnight shimmer i'm sorry it's a little reflective a little dirty too but whatever do i want to spray this one okay just one spritz this one might be discontinued i don't know i, I can't keep up with that <sighs> i love this one. Oh my god yeah this has that like brown sugar scent to it there's vanilla there's some woods it's really really pretty very very pretty i feel like if you like casablanca you would also like this it's just like this oodiness to it um it's really nice and it's this like rich sweet vanilla and it has that like brown sugar quality it's delicious it's that's the word it's one of those like delicious enticing scents that you just want to keep smelling I really, really like this one. All right, the next one that we have is Elisab Le Parfum. I love this bottle. I think it's very minimalistic, but very chic at the same time. Super pretty. Um, it would look really pretty if you didn't have all these damn perfumes. <laughs> like just that one perfume right there, sitting pretty. Um, Scent. I think there's orange blossom, jasmine in here, if I recall correctly, and honey. Um, I don't smell the honey. I would have really liked the scent if I didn't have other perfumes that smell very similar to this, if I'm being honest. I think it is a pretty scent. It's one of those like very mature scents, uh, very signature worthy. But the thing is, I already have a lot of perfumes like this. So when I got this one, I was a little bit disappointed on a personal note. It's one of those mature scents that I do like. I have a whole category of scents. That I like another thing to mention is I've never heard anyone say this but actually based on notes there's no musk in this but to my nose and on my skin this develops very musky musky like Narciso Rodriguez uh, for her the pink bottle I find them so similar this one might be a little bit more sweet but not sweet in a noticeable way I feel like I had to put them next to each other to notice the difference I smelled the patchouli and rose so do I need it I don't know yet yet do i recommend it if you like what i described yeah <laughs> all right the next one that we have i'm gonna talk about this one because i recently wore it to go to sleep you're gonna be like to go to sleep yes i wear the most random things to go to sleep i wear decadence to go to sleep i wear whatever i just want to go to sleep okay manifesto from ysl i actually really like this bottle i find it very like vintagey looks looking this is <sighs> This is really nice if you're into those like vanilla florals. There's this green aroma from the opening. That green um, aura about it though does eventually leave in the dry down. I'm finding that I really enjoy green scents. There's something so therapeutic. I'm here having a whole moment. <laughs> I'm just like forgetting that I'm recording and all. Yeah, there's this green thing about it. And a little citrusy, I don't remember if there's like lime or bergamot in this, I don't remember. But there's this citrusy greenness about it. It's 
it kind of just like wakes you up a bit but it's not sharp it's kind of like mouth watering but as it dries down it gets a little bit sweeter there's this powderiness about it um it's also i find it very comforting warm elegant i don't know if i said that already and just super comforting that explains why i go to sleep with it huh <laughs> and i only have a travel spray of le petit robe noir from guerlain um i don't think i want a bottle of it just yet this is a nice fragrance i just don't feel like i need a bottle at the moment um well, this is what happens when you do all this shit talking. It's a nice cherry scent and it's unique. I find it to be. There's this anise licorice quality to it. It's not just cherry. If you don't like licorice, I can see you not liking this because um, I find licorice adds that medicinal vibe to fragrances. So if you like something like um, Lolita Lempica, I think you would like this. And I do like the cherry in this. I find it sweet but tart and a little synthetic like candy like sweet maybe like a um, cherry jolly rancher if it had like some licorice in it yeah i could see that it's pretty but do i need a bottle i don't know i don't think so not yet all right another one that i got is from a company which we will not be talking about i'm kidding <laughs> caramel overdose from layered if you're new here um i don't really what can i say this i don't think i ever discussed it because i don't know if i should discuss it well okay so as a creator, I just don't support the brand of Layered anymore. I have said that already. I make videos really for you guys. Like all the products that I talk about, if I like it or not, it's really for you guys. So you guys don't spend your money because if you can't afford, I don't know, Delina and you want to smell like Delina, you can still purchase something that smells like Delina or better. You know what I mean? This is one of their original blends, but I have heard otherwise that it's, uh, an inspiration of Killian and it smells very similar or the same as Killian so which is why I purchased this one because I can't purchase Killian so I purchased this one with that being said I don't purchase from them anymore but this is one that um, I always wanted to buy from them and I did and I don't regret it I'm highly enjoying it really really nice fragrance I don't think it smells like caramel if you are purchasing this to smell like caramel you're going to be highly disappointed because it does not smell like caramel to me it's more of a syrup um i bought this expecting the regular be layered uh bottles and this is what i got i mean i'm overlooking it because the scent is amazing i do like it a lot and i'm actually using it to layer with um alien fusion but i got i love this one so much <sighs> oh my god this is I find the easiest alien to digest if you ever wanted to get into alien and you find alien too polarizing and the other ones to smell too similar to alien I think this is your best bet it still smells like alien it just it's just gonna have the alien DNA to tell you the truth but this is the sweeter version of it I find it to be oh, yes. spiciness in here is more of that like cinnamon kind of spice it's really really good if you're scared of spices i don't think you should be scared of this one i think this one is pretty likable it's easy i think it's the more digestible alien i layer these together i can't tell you how good this is i didn't have um alien essence absolute and this is what i was kind of layering to give me that that alien that i really wanted like i haven't smelled alien essence absolute but i feel like this is like the cousin of that i have now i have it now <sighs> it's been so long and i finally have it my god i love it and i still stand by that i think that this gives me that like their cousins um not the same but it does give me the same vibe if you're looking for that sweet alien um and you can't get your hands on alien essence absolute try this out it's really good it smells like it's its own fragrance honestly it doesn't even smell like you layered it and i feel like that's when you know that you layered something correctly because it literally smells like it was meant to be together it's like you literally created your own fragrance i also layer that uh caramel overdose with um i love love from oshino thank me later it's so good alien essence absolute i'm not gonna spray this one i do have a backup bottle but i'm not gonna spray it because i'm literally like <laughs> i'm going to wear this till i'm old okay so i'm only gonna be wearing this for special occasions so enjoy your fragrances you paid for them so you might as well enjoy them but i love this this is like i can literally die happy now this is my favorite favorite fragrance in my entire collection 
my number one fragrance two of my favorite perfumes in one it's sweet it's warm it's cozy it's delicious it has that like yummy aspect to it but it also has alien oh my god and alien is one of my favorite fragrances so it has two of my favorite perfumes in one and that's all i'm gonna say i love this so much so so much la nuit trezor nude first of all look at that diamond how gorgeous is this i got this one during a sale takara she makes us spend so much money because she's always like sending us uh things that are on sale and like if something's on sale i just have to get it because you know that's how we roll around here this oops child freaking wasting my perfume oh it smells so good i smell it <laughs> this is creamy and i don't say that lightly it's smooth you definitely when i at first spray i definitely definitely get the original la nuit trezor uh develops into its own fragrance this one has coconut in this and i think that out of my whole collection this is the one the closest to the coconut that i've been looking for four months um it's not the coconut but it's the closest coconut the other ones are more like coconut water if you're familiar with how coconut water smells i feel like that's why a lot of people can smell the coconut in rihanna rebel fleur because the coconut in that one is not like a candy coconut it's not um the flesh of the coconut it's not a creamy coconut it's more of the coconut water and if you've ever smelled organic coconut water it doesn't really smell like coconut <laughs> it's uh more of the essence of coconut it's not super sweet at all like how sparkling water has um a multitude of flavors watermelon grapefruit i think the one that i get is actually grapefruit it doesn't taste like a grapefruit but it has that essence of grapefruit so similar to that coconut water is that it's a water but it has that essence of coconut it's not super sweet so that's the when i say coconut water that's what i mean so i haven't found the creamy coconut uh that's milky and it's more of a coconut cream and the actual flesh the meat of the coconut but this is the closest to the coconuts that i have for sure this one is more of a candy coconut but it also has this creaminess to it this has vanilla in it too so it does add to that sweet creaminess it is a sweet fragrance and it is really good let's talk about the last one um kenzo jungle l'elephant i got this one purely for decoration reasons i'm just gonna throw it to you let you know um, i might also got it because of uh i was really intrigued really interested to see how it would smell like the notes are super scary and i love myself a good challenge i love elephants elephants are one of my favorite animals i find the bottle itself super abstract looking and i don't like the scent right there <laughs> just casually telling you yep i don't like the scent but it looks super super pretty as an ornament piece just decoration really to be honest with you guys i got it really affordable well not too affordable for the price because this is the 1.7 so i technically per ounce paid more for it if i were to have gotten the uh bigger bottle but in hindsight i paid less than the bigger bottle if that makes sense i paid more but not really since i'm not gonna wear it i paid less does that make sense no it doesn't but we'll move on i think it's a very very unique scent now let me describe it to you this smells extremely polarizing it's very arrogant um and it's super confident um with that being said to be honest with you guys i don't know who would enjoy this i feel like if you say that you enjoy this you're probably lying i honestly can't see myself ever wearing it um i think that the most appropriate time would be in the winter time to wear this because it's super strong very in your face um but even then i wouldn't wear it reminds me of this vanilla tea that i drink with lots and lots of spices the spices in here are very dry out of the million of spices that are in here i would say that i smell the licorice and the cloves the most it's kind of like the spices that you use to to bake but this does not smell like a bakery it doesn't smell like a pastry it just smells like the actual spices like if you were to put all those baking spices in a in a bowl that's what it would smell like i can't smell this for too long i did the mistake of opening this up yesterday and yesterday i felt super nauseous incredible incredible migraine where i just felt super nauseous i wanted to throw up and i couldn't wait to smell this one so i opened it up and this I almost you know because i was already nauseous and this itself just just increased my migraine and made me even more nauseous if you have a similar taste 
to me i don't think you would enjoy this i'm just telling you right right off the bat i think it's a fragrance that everyone should experience if you have heard of this i'm sure that you're very um como se dice um intrigued curious as to how it smells like but it's very polarizing super arrogant and i think you have to be extremely confident to wear this with that being said i don't find this sexy i don't find it pretty i don't find it beautiful i just find it polarizing annoying obnoxious in your face and a little gag worthy <laughs> if you didn't unsubscribe with humanity you probably unsubscribe for this one dislike 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 whatever it is what it is i tried my best to go through them efficiently i hope that i didn't bore you guys you guys know i didn't bore you i don't even bore myself that being said if you're not subscribed already please subscribe it helps out the channel a lot and give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it also follow me on instagram i'm a lot more active there than i am here i have actually become friends with a lot of you guys that you guys have followed me on instagram and we talk a lot over there and as always i hope you guys have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one bye guys